My name is Kyle Knotten from Single Thread Farm Restaurant in Inn in Healdsburg, California. I first started cooking sous vide in 2004 in Japan working for Michel Ross, but really expanded on the technique running the development kitchen at the Fat Duck. The first thing I ever saw sous vide was uh, cooking a whole chicken breast on the bone. Well, I just thought it was really brilliant using sous vide to actually create a roast chicken flavor profile. I can remember very clearly being so impressed by how juicy and moist the chicken was. We use sous vide at the restaurant for all kinds of different applications, for just packing fruits and vegetables to concentrate flavor to cooking techniques both long and short. I would say for anyone wanting to learn about the sous vide technique is to really do some research and some reading, really understand the fundamentals of the technique, especially as it pertains to safety. I've had thousands and thousands of amazing sous vide experiences, but one that sticks out was for the first time seeing the sous vide short rib cooked low temperature for 70 two hours and it's very very tender braised but at the same time rare like a steak it was such a revelation this dish is the cuisine solutions pork belly we've sliced it very very thin and we're just rewarming it very gently in a cooking liquid from the pork we have some charred cabbage in that as well and then a vinaigrette made from black sesame black vinegar and olive oil and lastly on top we have a little bit of myoga which is a young ginger bud this dish is the Cuisine Solutions sous vide octopus. So chefs all around the world for ages have really struggled with how to make sure that the octopus is always very tender. And there's techniques that everyone uses for that, but the sous vide technique to the octopus really, really ensures that you have this very, very soft and silky texture. We've taken all the different parts of the octopus and very gently smoked it in a Japanese clay pot earthenware smoker called a donabe. We're smoking that very lightly over cherry blossom wood. We have a sauce of ginger, scallion, sesame, shiokoji, the ultimate texture for octopus is always to have that very, very soft inner texture without it being mealy and have that beautiful, nice, tight and crispy exterior. And the combination of the sous vide and the smoking really brings those two together. On top we have a little bit of fresh radish and fresh scallion. My name is Kyle Kanan and I sous vide. <laughs>